In this must-see video, I am going to tell you about business at home ideas. So if you want small business at home ideas, or you want to know work for home ideas, and if you want to create a second income, make sure you stay tuned because I am about to give you advice for starting a business at home ideas and at home business ideas UK that you can use right away. I will give you some ideas of doing business at home. I will then give you strategic advice on business to start at home ideas that you can use to make extra income. And I will tell you where you can instantly get access to further training resources to start a business. And just very quickly, if you are new to this channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am here to help you succeed with digital marketing. And please just give the video a like because that motivates me to create more content for you. Let's get to it. Now, before I tell you about business at home ideas, please tell me what kind of content do you want to see on this channel? Let me know in the comments under the video. OK, let's start off. Let me first tell you about the advantages and the disadvantages of starting a business. So here we go. What are the pros and cons for starting a business at home? A home-based business is a venture, whether full-time or run as a side hustle, that you can start and operate using your own home as your base of operations. A few home-based businesses, especially those that sell online and don't buy and hold lots of inventory, can even be run on the go, without the need to be bound to your home. So naturally, there are pros and cons to consider when deciding whether a home-based business is right for you. So let me tell you some of the advantages for starting a business at home. A small business has fewer overhead costs in comparison to something like a warehouse fee plus potential tax deductions that you can claim. You have the option to sell products or services locally or internationally. It can give you a flexible work-life balance, which is ideal if, for example, you're a stay-at-home parent or a retiree. You can create a family business where your relations or your partner can help out as and when is needed. Now let me tell you about some of the disadvantages that you may face for having a small business at home. You may need to convert space in your home to support the needs of your business. For example, holding inventory, creating a home office or storing some equipment. The challenge can be doing this without disrupting your life at home. You will still have to comply with any regulations that pertain to the business that you want to start. For example, you may need to rent a commercial kitchen if you plan to sell food products, or you may need a license or a permit to hold stock and inventory. Your business may outgrow your home and require you to rent additional space and hire more employees. Working from home offers you a lot of freedom, but it can also be quite lonely. This might be a bit difficult if you enjoy being around other people. While there are plenty of ways to go about starting a home-based business, I am going to tell you about some of the most approachable paths to creating a profitable business for yourself. I will now give you some brilliant small business at home ideas that you can use to make a second income. So, the first one is buy products in bulk and sell them online for higher profits. Many businesses center on the simple concept of importing products in bulk and selling them individually for a profit. Maybe you could be someone who recently traveled abroad and you came across unique products that aren't readily available in your market, but that you sense an appetite for. Or maybe you've zeroed in on a niche market and know the perfect way to serve it. Either way, if these products are relatively easy to store and ship, you may have some solid home-based business ideas on your hands. You can even initially use your home as a showroom to sell locally, giving you the option to expand with additional storage space and employees as you validate your idea and sales start to ramp up. The second business idea at home is sell homemade products. If you're a maker yourself or you know someone who is, consider turning that hobby into a business. If you have to create your products elsewhere in a studio, commercial kitchen or workshop, you may be able to store and sell them in your own home. 
When you have the ability to control nearly every aspect of the products that you sell, you can make them more cost effective and improve their quality, or cater them to a certain audience by targeting demand in the market. Here is a quick idea for you. You can start printing succulent planters at home with a 3D printer and create a new business. Now, whether you choose to start on a marketplace like Etsy or build your own branded storefront, selling your creations is a great way to share your passion with others and earn some extra money at the same time. I would advise you to be wary of regulations that may be concerning for products that customers ingest or put on their skin. The good news is, producing your own products doesn't have to be overwhelming and complicated. When you're ready to scale, you can establish a process and onboard new employees to help with the production. The third small business at home idea is start a dropshipping store. So far, I have told you some business ideas that require you to hold inventory and products in your home. But there are a variety of online business ideas to pursue that don't involve worrying about inventory and shipping. These businesses employ a drop shipping model. This is where a third party produces the stores and ships your products on your behalf, leaving marketing and customer services as your main responsibilities. Your drop shipping supplier can be a local or it can be overseas, but you need to ensure you find a supplier that you can trust to deliver a consistently great customer experience after each sale. Always do your due diligence or you might put your business reputation at some risk. There are even Shopify apps such as DSRs that can connect you with suppliers to import products and items into your own store while streamlining order fulfillment. Now at its core, dropshipping involves becoming a distributor of a third party's products and items taking on the costs, both financial and time-based, of the marketing to be rewarded with the margins where you can make a sale. In many cases, this can make your products a commodity with limited opportunity to brand your customer experience. Let me tell you about a few different ways you can still compete, even when there's no shortage of your products in the market that you're selling to. You can curate products from different suppliers to create a store that serves a specific niche. You can compete through quality content and customer service, creating value way beyond your products. You can also target an underserved region of the world, but be sure to pay attention to your shipping costs. You can even target a new audience with the same products. For example, LED shoes that can be marketed to music festival goers or runners. The next powerful tip I have for you is to start a print-on-demand business. Using a similar dropshipping model, a print-on-demand business doesn't require you to hold any stock or inventory or ship any items or products yourself. Print on demand even offers you more flexibility to customize white label products with your own creative designs. Let me tell you about Rebecca Lee Funk, who launched The Outrage, a women's rights activist apparel brand that sells print on demand t shirt designs from her home. The business donates a portion of profits to Planned Parenthood in the former US President Donald Trump's name. Her launch campaign went viral and the outrage turned into a thriving e-commerce business. Let me tell you, there are many other print-on-demand products that you can sell, such as books, hats, backpacks, blankets, mugs, pillows, shoes, hoodies, phone cases, watches and many more, depending on the supplier you choose to work with. Many print-on-demand businesses focus on serving a specific niche, or better yet, a shared identity. What are people passionate about and proud to share? What about yourself? From pet owners to vegans to gamers, there are plenty of passionate communities that you can create products for. If you have the skills, you can create your own designs. 
But if not, you can always hire the talent that you need. Let me now give you my next tip. You can offer online services. Services are even simpler than products to start selling at home. But the challenge is allocating your limited time. Time is money is never truer than when you're running a service-based business. Creative professionals like designers or marketers might freelance or consult with other companies, juggling multiple clients, often remotely from their home office with occasional travel. Other people might operate based on appointments and bookings to offer their services to individuals directly. Here are some service-based home business ideas that you can use to make money. Freelance writing, virtual assistance, marketing, designing, SEO consulting and social media consulting. Service-based businesses often require a lot of networking and word-of-mouth referrals to find suitable clients, but satisfied clients will likely retain your services over time. For this reason, you don't necessarily need a large number of customers to do well, as you would with a product-based business. Depending on the services that you are offering to clients, a handful of high-quality clients can be enough to support yourself full-time while working from home. So, all of the things that I have covered in this tutorial will help you create a small business at home. So if you need help starting or growing a profitable online business, go and click the link under the video now and check out my partner website, The Internet Business School. They can help you develop your digital skills and advance your marketing career and provide you with all the training and the knowledge you need to create a profitable business from start to finish and put you ahead of the competition. The link is in the description below, so check it out now. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please give the video a like. That motivates me to make more content for you. Also, don't forget to connect with me on Facebook. I have put the link to the Facebook page in the description under this video. If you have any questions, make sure to comment them down below. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I wish you all the best and I'll see you in the next video.